They say one night stands are shallow. Do you say that? No. I say one conversation with you is shallow, but let's All keep right. <laughs> they say one night stands are shallow. But singer Troy uh, Sivan says uh, otherwise. He spoke to Emily Ratajkowski about it. The singer said post a break with his ex, he hooked up with another man who told him that even if they do uh, and they don't meet again, sharing this one night can make them connected forever. And Sivan said it was, quote, like something out of a movie, end quote. And that's what children say. Um, question four. With a Bacardi shot, I'd swallow that. Troy Sivan recently opened up about his enjoying hookups. I agree. They can be great. I agree. I agree, too. I agree, as long as your wife doesn't find out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and to out to your question. I won't tell her. No, no, they are not shallow because the thing is, a hookup could be affirming, a dance could be affirming. So you, you're getting something out of it that you're looking for. So I liked how the, the conversation went to expanding it to that dance floor, to that hug, to that walking in, in a coffee shop and you see someone and gave that moment. So if it's on grinder and you're getting your needs met and you're fulfilling that affirming moment of being loved and being touched, Hell yeah. yeah. You know, it's interesting to me because the negative reaction that he may get, in my opinion, is an implementation of homophobia. Absolutely. Because at the end of the day, I was president of the major fraternity at the University of Central Florida, Sigma Chi. And in my fraternity, and this was in the, in the 1980s, um, there was nothing that all of my fraternity brothers wanted more than the hookup. They Absolutely. would go to X or they Y. They would go to the dance club. They would go to the strip joint on South Orange Blossom Trail. That's all they were hoping for is the hookup. Mm -hmm. And nobody thought a thing about it. Mm -hmm. Then you put gay on it and then it becomes homophobic. Ah, you are X or you are Y or you are Z. It's homophobia, mm. and that's what's happening. Yeah. Didn't he just come out as verse? Did he just come out as verse yeah. or side or something? Yes, he just came out. Well, congratulations on coming out yeah. that way. <laughs> um, okay. You know, I think hookups are important and they're necessary. And sometimes Absolutely. it's just a quick release. You don't have to know the name or the phone number. I don't need none of that. We both know why we're here. Let's get it done. And then thank you <laughs> very you much. Slap on the ass and name? get out. No, why would I need your name? I, I don't want I, your Facebook. I don't want none of that. I have putting people's clothes by the bathroom door. Here's, your, here's everything folded. You, there's no need for you to come back into the room. Get your stuff and go. It, it, it is fine. We both knew what we needed when you got there. Uh, and we say thank you. Bye. And we say thank you. Wait, I mean, we're, the, the we're great, all human. The great thing about it is that you never have to see them again if you don't want to. Yeah. And if you do, you can say what's up and say, hey, you know, later. That was fun. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Second counts. Right. Yeah, okay. All right. We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show brought to you from Happening Out Television Network. We operate in the same model of PBS and NPR, but for the LGBTQ plus community. We educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of our LGBTQ plus community with more than 100,000 a week watching us on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the story going, we accept donations with 100% transparency. Stay updated and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.